Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at how to replace Downey, which is on macOS to download movies, de uh, sorry, download uh, videos from YouTube, or especially to download the streams of my daughter's figure skating, like happened this weekend when they were away in another city and I was here with the middle kid and couldn't watch them live. So that's what we're going to do today, how to replace that on Linux, because I use Linux as much as possible now. Before we do that, a few ways to support the channel. Number one, become a member. Uh, curtismichael.ca slash membership. Number two, uh, take a course, curtismichael.ca slash education. Now let's dive in to the options. Okay, so what have I used before? I used Downy. Downy is here available on Mac OS. You can find it at what is it, software, Charlie Monroe Downy. Um, I actually use it via setup. It works really easy. It's integrated into Safari for me. I click the Downy icon and it automatically downloads the stuff I want. Very nice. So what am I using instead? Let's open up software. Let's bring that up to my main screen. So what I'm using instead, search YouTube, is YouTube Downloader Plus. Uh, unfortunately, the software on Fedora is a little slow. I'm also streaming at the same time, which is probably pushing this a little hard. YouTube Downloader Plus. Um, all right, I opened it, or installed it from a flat pack here, and let's use it. So first thing we'll need to do is open a YouTube video. Let's grab this loco one. Which is a StarCraft streamer. A best and leave it. I don't really need it. And now let's open YouTube Downloader Plus, which you can't see because that's opening up on my laptop screen, at least the screen that uh, lets me type it in. So YouTube Downloader Plus. So really, all I need to do is copy this link and paste it in. Oh, so there's been an error with it because it's the channel. So in the past, this has just worked with just the copy and paste YouTube Downloader Plus. Processing. There you go. And then we'd hit download. Now we have some more options here as well, right? We can close the app when it finishes. We can record from a certain time. We can select the location. Uh, we can select the format and select the quality as well. And we can extract it as well. So let's actually go. What I did first when I got this whole thing going was go to preferences. And then I change where I wanted to download. So this happens to the right spot all the time into my downloads. Make sure I pick the right language. Now it was actually set at first to 144p. So the first download I did was a waste. <laughs> it was 144p, not what I want. So I upgraded it to 4K to prefer 4K if it could. Now I can also use if, uh, cookies from Firefox. So if you're say signed into something and want to download the video then fire and in Firefox and it can use the cookies in there to do that. It's also a configuration file. If you want to have like, if you have a text input that you're taking our configuration file you're taking between computers, you can do that. And you can also change your file name, the folder name, maximum number of downloads. If you close the app, the system tray and disable auto updates. So what I would recommend when you come in here is up the quality to as high as you can, uh, and it'll do the best it can to get the high quality. And that's really it. So again, let's paste in the loco video. I'll have to process it and then let it download in the background. Now, one thing it also doesn't do very well is it doesn't tell you that it can stop halfway through. So if we hit download, you're going to see a progress bar is preparing for a minute. So this is how it does streaming though. It'll be preparing and then it'll start downloading it like this. And if you look right here, there's no like way to pause it. Just so I don't want to record four hours of figure skating. I just want to record like the chunk my kids are in. But now that it's downloading, right? You can actually hit the X and then I can open files and I can go to downloads and Right here we have the part, so I can rename it, take off the part, and I have a video to watch. That's really all you need to do is take off the part at the end and then it will actually have a video you can play. As I did this weekend when I watched my kids uh, 
skating and got to see them and just took off the part and could still see everything that they did um, and exit, er, edit the videos so that I could see uh, just a chunk of them, not like everyone in their flight or their group of figure skaters. Well, that's it. If you liked the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened. Otherwise, become a member of curtismchael.ca slash membership. Take a course, curtismchael.ca slash education. Have an awesome day.